Welcome to our next session, the uh, Medicine Wheel Concept Balanced Lifestyle, um, presented by Angie Ice. My name is Emma from NAN, and I'm just here to do some introductions. But about Angie, she is originally from Martin Falls, but now resides in Geraldton, Ontario. She is the native language teacher at Geraldton Composite High School, teaching grade nine to 12 native language and studies. And she enjoys beading, reading, and arts and crafts. The medicine wheel concept, balanced lifestyle, entails a lot of visuals, talking, crafts, and how these are related to student life skills. Please welcome Angie Ice. Okay, I'll just say a few words about the, uh, the balanced lifestyle, where it came from. And the developer, you can see by uh, looking at the, uh, the, the picture here. Uh, Leo. Leo is a, a, a real good friend of mine and she lives in Manitoba and she travels to go and present, present balanced lifestyle workshops. The workshop entails about 12 sessions and uh, it's a really, really, uh, how do you say, hands-on workshop, life skill type, I mean, hands-on things and uh, the activities are very, uh, how do you say, um, fun, I guess I'll use that word. And uh, I met uh, Leo at some, uh, some time back in 1995, I think it was, I'm way back now. Uh -huh. But anyway, yeah, she, uh, my boss who was well, at the Friendship Center at the time, who was Bev Bottle, she said, uh, I have something for you, may be interested. So I looked at it, I said, yeah, how can I get into it? Oh, she says, just put in your request. She says, we'll send you out or we'll bring her in, whatever, which one you want. So they brought her to Geraldton and she enjoyed it here. Uh, Leo is a uh, main helper, I think, over in Manitoba. She is a non-native woman, but you would think, you know, the things that she does, the way that she thinks about our, our way of life, our spirituality, she's right there. And uh, she works with the elders out in Manitoba. And uh, that's who her teachers are, are from. So that's a little bit of uh, uh, Leo. And uh, I think that's it for that. You can go to the next page. So, Little his story. Balanced lifestyle, medicine wheel concept evolved as a model for teaching a balanced lifestyle in 1990. It's, called, it's construction of 36 stones was found to be too much information so that teaching stones were reduced to 24 stones. And that's what we use when we do our uh, medicine wheels. It has been used to work with youth in education in areas such as life skills, cultural awareness, counselors, uh, women's shelters, inmates in prison, community service organizations, institutions, provincial associations, friendship centers, and First Nations. Next, please. Any questions? Hello? You can go. Okay, during 1992 and 93, elders Roy Canton, who is in the spirit world as we speak, and Noel Knockwood, Stan Nelson, and Frank Santee were consulted as the Balanced Lifestyle Program evolved. In 1999, an advertisement of a workshop with the medicine wheel caught the eye of our director at the Friendship Center and asked if this could be be of interest to me as the worker. And, and yes, it was, and that was the beginning of our lifestyle medicine wheel concept in Geraldton. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a little bit dry, so I bought two bottles of something. <laughs> Don't mind me, I gotta take a drink. Hmm. Yeah. So Balanced Lifestyle looks at the three wheels. It lays out tasks in the individual, 
might follow in their lifetime. Welcome, the welcome to the town of abuse, substance abuse. That's one wheel. And a lot of us know this wheel. Uh, contemporary wheel of life. This wheel consists of uh, what's happening today in the modern world and how to deal with it within your life using that contemporary like uh, economics and uh, financial and all that stuff. That's the wheel. And traditional wheel is basically what we follow in terms of uh, our everyday life, going to sweats, going to sun dances, going wherever we can get teachings and learn. That's that wheel. Next. So this is a town. Welcome to the town of abuse. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm going to go far as that police car you see there. So most of us are, we, we are, uh, have, I should say, we have walked in, the, in that, all, the, all these here that you see here, all this that you see, you have anger, you have depression, you have rage, physical, mental abuse, family violence, health issues, identity issues, financial issues, and contemporary issues. So this book here deals with how to change all these things in your life if you if you uh, can connect yourself to, to, to that wheel, tone of uh, abuse, connect yourself and be honest with yourself. And I think um, once you get down to the, where it hits bottom, then you become a, a, a person of uh, providing jobs for others, like you know, officers, parole officers, that kind of thing. Eh? And Department of Corrections, you can keep the jails going. Uh, and justice system, yes. Uh, guards and parole crisis centers, you have shelter centers, halfway houses and support groups. That's what we provide. That's what we give out. So in a way, these people here, they, you need a lot of workers. When you hit bottom, that's where you go. But a lot of people remain there. And what I found through my life experience is, even my, talking about my own family, that's where, they, that, that's where they stopped. They couldn't go beyond that. They couldn't go to a uh, psychological problems dealing with them. They couldn't go to strain on family. They couldn't do children of dysfunction, but that's us counselors, social workers, financial strain on welfare system, addiction for what codependency, that's us, uh, intellectual damage, you know, uh, you wreck your brain, I guess, and your dreams are gone, your name is gone, uh, and but if you can pass all, all through that, all this year, deal with that, you become self, uh, re redefining yourself. And, th and this is the off ramp. And then you go into your values, your beliefs. Now you're well, you want to try to get your values back, try to get your belief system back, try to get you know some uh, direction, some roles for yourself. So it's very, uh, and this takes about, I don't know, a week to do. One, uh, one of life's highways, and there's a little checklist, self-inventory of events. Check off conditions of your environment. So they, got, they, they check them off. Say, so stay for me. I'm in this situation, say. I'm very stressed. Why? COVID. <laughs> I'm stressed out by that. You know, that's one of my things, eh? Uh, and maybe it might be money. And maybe it might be uh, it affects my health. COVID affects my health. Because I don't get to, to be free out there and uh, like we used to be. I can, I guess, but so, so many, uh, you don't get as much options, is what I'm saying. 
I used to love going to Thunder Bay, visiting my family. Now I'm afraid to put my foot in Thunder Bay. So we'll just leave that. Next. Okay, this is the contemporary wheel of life. And that's what I was talking about. This is today, today. They deal with that they, today. Take a moment to lightly shade areas on the wheel you feel you have some knowledge or experience in. Then you make a note to two areas you can begin to work on to cause emotion, uh, uh, motion for yourself. So let's just say, what should I do? Mm. Okay, well, pick spiritual, contemporary today. What could I do to get back on that wheel? Yes, I never was involved in a culture. I never knew about the uh, ritual and ceremonies. And uh, breath means just your, the way that you handle yourself. Light means it's how you shine in front of people, uh, behavior and how you behave in front of people uh, or even with yourself. And there's costumes. Well, and that's just one pie, one pie. So you gotta look at that. So somebody might shade that area. What would you shade, shade uh, like, shade, how do you say that, shade? Would you shade financial? No, you wouldn't because you're financially okay. Maybe your relationships are, are breaking down. Or you, maybe your, your own physical self, you had uh, kind of ignored it. Uh, your int intellectual self, cognitive self. And then, of course, your emotional self. Do you handle your emotions in a way that's helping others? They don't just break down and all of a sudden somebody's crying over there and, and you break down along with that person, which is okay. But in a way, it's not okay because you're supposed to be helping with this person's emotions. You should have had dealt with whatever you, you are thinking about emotionally. For example, uh, emotionally, I, uh, I'm really angry for, uh, about something. I wouldn't go, I, I deal with it. I think about my thoughts. What am I thinking? What kind of language am I using? That kind of thing. Okay, next one. And this gates way to understanding. Here we have a, our uh, medicine wheel. So when the when the people are taking this this uh, these sessions, they make their own wheel, however they want to see it, however they want to look at it. But we talk to them about okay, uh, this wheel came from Manitoba. It's not the same. Uh, Maybe the, the, the way the, what you call sit, the animals, maybe that's not how you look at the medicine wheel, which is okay. Every, not, there's nothing wrong about wherever your animals sit. But in the teachings, when we teach them, we talk about the ego, we talk about communication, we talk about wisdom, elimination, the bright light that comes through with the ego. We talk about the wolf. The wolf is a very, uh, how do you say, uh, from, what, from what I learned about the wolf, very humble. You can learn humility from the wolf. That's all I'll say for that. And then there's Makwa. Makwa has strength. Makwa looks within itself. And then life experience, right? You can take life experience and you can go to intersection and then strength comes out of that. So you can move around your, your rocks when you're, uh, when you're doing your wheel and think about, you know, aqua. And then there's uh, the buffalo, a shibijike. A shibijike is a good teacher too. Yeah, the Shiva Jake gives us a lot of, um, uh, shows us respect, shows us how to use that respect. A lot of times 
when you're, when you're when you're talking about the spirit animals, you also have to think about the ones that are here today, physical like us. We got to talk about them. How are they doing in life? You know, how is that? You know, a shibushike is it shibushike surviving? So you get into that kind of discussion. Okay, next one. Overview training on facilitation. Well, basically, I explained that already. You uh, get a hold of uh, Leo, and uh, you bring her in, and she'll train you. She'll train me uh, many people. Uh, you can hold a workshop. She comes in and learn to do it. And if you if you are interested further, then you go and do a one on one training with her in Manitoba. So. That's something that I did, and uh, it was very interesting, just one-on-one, -on -one. and uh, I shouldn't say one-on-one, -on -one, one on one with another one, and I was learning about just there to learn. So you can read this here um, in terms of uh, on your own time, and uh, so basically that's what it is, you know, what you need to do. Okay, okay. Aha. Turn the page. So, in each chapter of the balanced lifestyle, we study the uh, eagle, the buffalo, the turtle, the bear, uh, the wolf, the beaver, and the human. Human is always put to last, the two legged people. The ones above us, the ones not above us, the ones that walk beside us, they're, they're our helpers. They help us. So in order to do a real good session with the people, you expand this. You don't do seven. You expand it to maybe 12. Because you got to add on your feast. You got to add on your giveaway. All these things that are important to celebrate. They got to add on, you know, the graduation. You give them uh, 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 some kind of uh, participation uh, uh, paper, I guess, certificate, and they love it. Okay. So the following slides are some of the participants' photos of their creations. Here, they are working on looks like painting. They're painting a, a picture on a rock or painting picture on a paper at all. It's all up to them what they want. All the materials are there. Okay. This young man, he was really having a rough time one time. I see him now to be a, a little bit more uh, healthy. But that's his medicine wheel. That's how he wanted. And it's he's studying something there. It looks like a tea bag. No, just kidding. <laughs> he's looking at something there. And I'm not quite sure what that was. I think it's a rock. Okay, so that's his spirit wheel. The same guy, spirit wheel. He wanted uh, he made another one, eh? That looked interesting too. Creating a shield. That's what the shield back there was. That's his shield. Um, and these are the hoops that you can make your shields or your medicine wheel. You see all that hide there. That's when you. That's where uh, you make that um, balanced lifestyle wheel using the the rocks. And we get uh, all sorts of. Uh, Rocks like uh, amethyst, uh, tiger's eye, or uh, or uh, what you call? I can't remember. I I can't think right now. I think I'm uh, I'm zooming out. But anyway, yeah, they're very colorful. Very, and then you get to study these rocks too. Like, what is um, a tiger's eye? Do you know what the tiger's eye looks like? Do you, do you know what it's for? You all know until you pick it up and you look at it. I can't tell you. 
but you will be able to tell me once you pick up that rock. You will be able to tell me how you feel in holding that. What does it remind you of? So all this conversation goes on type of thing and, and they're making their wheels. Okay, next one. And they're working on their shields, same thing, you know, painting them or whatever. These are all young women. Uh, we had a uh, half and half, I think, young men and women. Okay. This young lady here, she was a real hard worker. She, she, you can see it. You can see it on her face, you know, uh, that what she's doing is very, very important to her. And you can see what she has done already. And now she's continuing on to add on to what she's doing. And that cup of coffee looks good. Just kidding. Okay, cool. There it is. That's her finished product. She's done. And it took her, I don't know, two, three days to do that. Okay. Aha. Is there somebody else in love? Somebody else is in love here. All they can think about is their heart and their sweetheart. So that's what this one means. And I was there when I, I saw it. I saw these two couples. They were so, so together, so want to be together. And they, she did that. Okay, go. Cool. That young man you see up there passed away. He was a good student. He came and, you know, he came here all the time he came. And he always, always liked to do art. He's a drummer, he's a singer. So he was trying to find his way back. And he did, he did find his way back. And then something, he had a car accident, I think it was. And this one on, uh, on that uh, white, white and black sweater, she's a little shy. She doesn't like pictures. But she's still working. And same with the other one down the bottom. She's a little shy. And that's me trying to get her going there. My little scarf sticking out. We did this during winter. This is a good time to do winter work. This kind of stuff. Okay. So these two couple, they're done. That's their rock. That's a rock. They did that. They put a shield painted on a rock. That young girl you see on the side, she passed away too. Uh, she got sick. And she was a nice lady and very friendly and very kind. All right. We just about, oh, this, this here, we had good laughs. We had a lot of good laughs when we were creating the masks. You got to get that plaster in your, and, you, and uh, you work with it with them or, or you don't. They, they do, they help each other. They take turns, okay. And that's this lady working on a face. It's a young man and uh, she's using him as a, a model. This is how her, her mask. Okay, next one. There he is. Doesn't that remind you of uh, <laughs> having fun yet, Jason? <laughs> uh, yeah, he, this young man is a very comical young man. He likes to joke around and whatnot. And he's, he still lives here in Geraldton. He's very quiet. He's got a quiet life. And, uh, and I think he, uh, he was diagnosed with some sort of uh, sickness. And uh, that's why. He never, hardly ever comes out. He stays right in his house with his dad. His dad looks after him. Okay. There's their paints. Get some bunch of paint. There's that book. These the books. They, they get a book each, by the way. We order enough books that they can have so they can carry on and they can maybe, you know, do it with their families, do some, do some neat uh, arts and crafts. So he's getting ready to paint. Go ahead. There's his mask. There's the mask. It's already done. Isn't that beautiful? 
that's beautiful painting and you can tell this person's mind where her, her mind is going and that's part of the book put your mind in a very very good spot do something that helps you bring you that good feeling okay now they're going to make medicine pouches so they're looking at oh geez it looks kind of big to be i asked them to do a, you know pretty uh fair size medicine pouch and they start laughing at me what about this we'll use this and they move it up like that and, and they're laughing so I, I didn't say anything i said uh, if you want them I wasn't going to say, no, you can't. But you can't do that to them. They want to make a big, huge medicine pouch. Go right ahead. That's my fault anyway. I should have, I should have cut it to a point where that's how much you're allowed to use. This was my doing. Gotta admit that. Okay, next one. Here's this girl. She is making, just cutting, sewing, and fringing. Finch making. She's making her pouch. All right. Go ahead. This one, her pouch is done. We never got to see her make it, but you can see the work that she has done. She really, really thought about it, how this pouch is going to look. It's a beautiful lady. Okay. Now we're going to uh, create reminders. That's another session. Cards. So we got about a bunch of these cards that are blank. And they start. We do a session. We talk about, you know, all, you know, what could be done with the cards. And we talk about our feelings and talk about the medicine wheel itself. You know, and, uh, when they did these cards, they uh, none of it came out negative. They were all positive. But sometimes when you're doing a workshop and you ask somebody to do something, you know, it depends how they're feeling, they're going to draw what they're feeling. But these guys, they made beautiful cards. Okay. More drawings. And this is freehand. Look at the talent here. Shaping ideas, that's a chapter, there. Chapter four, there. Shaping ideas. And that's that's what they've done on their cards. The Inga looks like, and the Pons, a little bear. Anyway, okay. Just about done. There's done, and you see she's using her book. She's reading her book. And she's drawing at the same time or writing something. That's her cards right there. She's done one, two, three. She's on her fourth card. And same with that lady over there. And, they, and then what's way in the corner over there, they're doing theirs too. And that lady that you see way in the corner over there, that's my niece. She went through a rough, rough time. Today, she's home looking after her children she's got six children that girl six one boy five girls she got it covered she made it through but she had a rough life did it to herself of course and she knows that okay next one there's the cards again they're still working on them and look at the thing look at that look at that buffalo Oh, I couldn't and a little yeah. Um uh, Jake is a buffalo, Vicky Z and uh Scottish. The Scottish. There's two ways to say that. What did she put? Cycles and movement, quality of thought, influence, quality of life. So they get the, they have their book they can you know look at too when they're doing their work. Okay. Now we're into the Purchases Medicine Wheel. We're just looking at the wheels on their, their creations. And you see them, <clears throat> acidic, meaning stones, acidic. They're all different 
and she has them all in a different way. Uh, look like uh, she's got a star, uh, a sun, and I don't know what's that, an eagle, I think. I don't know what that blue thing is. I can't uh, make it up right now. But anyway, that's what this person did. Next one. Another medicine wheel. This one made it nothing extravagant. Just she glued on her rocks. She glued them on. Yeah. Okay. Another one. Here was a lot of work done. And here. Was a. Uh, I forget what the, what the man or woman that did this. I think it was a guy that did this. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, again. Another wheel. Well, that's the same wheel you just saw. Just looking at it a little bit more differently. Some people didn't want to uh, put their, uh, take pictures of their what they made. That's just the way they wanted it. They wanted no pictures. But those I agreed, that's the ones I took pictures of. Okay, next one. There's somebody else's wheel. Balance lifestyle medicine wheel concept. And when you uh, work with Leo, you, you got to tell her how, how many people you're going to have for your workshop. And you got to, and then she goes from there and gets all the rocks ready and brings the rocks to you. Okay, next one. Next one is Miigwech. What are we doing now, folks? Thank you, Angie, for your presentation. Thank you, Miigwech. Uh huh. I just had some questions for you. Okay. you like? okay, the first one. How would this medicine wheel help in teaching students life skills? Say that again. How would the medicine wheel help in teaching students life skills? Well, you use a contemporary wheel. You don't, you leave alone the, uh, the abuse wheel because they're not there, right? And you leave alone the traditional wheel uh, uh, because it's very in depth. But life skill wise, you use that, uh, that second wheel where everything uh, talks about everything about the modern world today. And then after you pull in the uh, you pull in the traditional wheel, how they can bring their traditional teachings into the modern world, how it connects. And you tell them this is where it connects. This is how it goes. Okay. Does that help? Yes, it does. Thank you. Yeah. What would your lessons plan lesson plans look like? Would you use the three wheels to teach the students? Uh, the plan of the whole thing with a room like this, room like this, and the seating like this, and uh, uh, we have flip charts. Uh, we have our, we plan ahead what we're going to do that day, and it's up there on the flip chart. And then we go through, say, for example, the first part of the book is, wait, talking about one of life's highway, one of life's highway, meaning that, you know, every, everyone Participants, what do you think I mean? One life's highway. We start off like that. What do you okay. think? Kind of thing. Eh? And then you just go on and on. You talk to them because now you're going to talk to them about this this stuff here, uh, the first wheel, because you're targeting people that need this type of thing in their lives. You're targeting them, and they come out very happy about it, that they took this, that they learned something, they walked away with something, even just walking away with their medicine wheel and all the other creations they made. They didn't know they had 
that talent, some of them. They wow. didn't have that. Yeah. But once you sit down and hope I learn on the two by two, whatever it may be, looks good. Okay. One, more question. One more question here. There are hands-on activities with most of the sessions. What would planning look like? The hands-on? Yeah, planning. Okay, that's what I mean. When, uh, let's just say for example, okay, I'll just talk about what we did here. Uh, when we did the activities, the hands-on activities, uh, we ordered a bunch of stuff, like, you know, uh, making a mask. You got to have plaster. You got to have the wheel. You got to have the uh, paints. You got to have uh, lots of uh, leather, hide, that kind of thing, right? You got to have lots of that. And I didn't show the, uh, we did the stone paintings too, right? Eh? Grandfather stones. If we talk about that stone first before we even do anything with it, what does this mean to you? Some say it's just a rock. And then somebody else will say, no, it isn't. It's more than that. So they kind of teach each other too. We don't have to. They help each other. Eh? So it's just basically guiding them along, providing the materials and guide them with that. And it's up to them after. That's, that's uh, what you call uh, hands-on making things. And then winter and we got we remember that this is winter time we're doing this right so if it was summer it would look a little more different because yeah. we would take them out to work on these things they have to go and pick their own medicine wheel using willow offering tobacco teaching them that kind of thing right so you can do that anytime okay Miigwech, thank you. Okay, good. Glad I can help. <laughs> miigwech for those excellent questions and gitcha miigwech for Angie for the excellent presentation. Well, I'm, glad, I'm glad I pulled through it because I'm not good at this. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a hands-on person more than Presentation person kind of thing, right? I get a little shy. <laughs> Was I, did I look shy? <laughs> I need an evaluation. <laughs> ah, but this is the book right here. Everything is there. Uh, also, a video comes with it, Medicine Wheel uh, video. You can uh, get that from uh, Leo. It contacted Leo and she'll, she'll be right there because she keeps working that way for the people. Eh? Yeah, she's a very nice lady. We love her if you ever get a hold of her. You won't want to let her go. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess that's it for me. We got to go now. Uh, again, thank you. For our participants, uh, these sessions are being recorded and will be uploaded 24 to 48 hours later. Um, they're going to be uploaded right in the agenda where you access this session, but instead of a live feed, it will be replaced with the recording. So you will be able to review and, and uh, see this again. Oh, yeah. Most importantly, again, a big thank you for, your, for Angie Ice.